Hey fellas, hope you had a great Christmas holiday. Um, hope you all had a great number of gifts and models. Hope everything with the family was fine. Hope you all had a ton of fun. I certainly did. Um, and yeah, let me just go ahead and just give you a little taste of some holiday goodies that we got and some future projects in 2015. Let's take a look here. Alrighty. <clears throat> see. Okay, well, just to start, I did start my fountain for my small little vignette. I was kind of thinking um, maybe about getting a bicycle or some of the little just odd little civilian pieces to go and place around it. But the fountain vignette is in the process. Just flipped this together last night. And now, on to the treats. <clears throat> Alright, first off, courtesy of the, of the wife, I now have dead people. I have uh, Verlinden Casualties of German Tankers of World War II. Um, this is my first resin, um, anything. Um, I'm not, I'm very new to resin. I don't know really how to work it. I do know that it's very bad for your lungs, um, at least from what I've, what I've heard. I'm not sure if right or not, but um, a couple of guys at my model club, they have uh, classes. Um, in a sense, basically um, how-tos that you can go to about how to um, about how to work with photo etch parts, photo etch and resin, um, especially for the real minute details that you can get out of um, some real small photo etch and resin parts. Um, so yeah, get this kit here, and from mother, from mother of Masterbox Soviet um, Soviet Infantry Infantry in Action 41 to 42 of the Eastern Front series. Again, from Mother Panzer Grenadiers, 39 to 42. And Mother again, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Another basically master box equivalent to my uh, my uh, dragon figures that I put for bailout for the curse group build. Get that for tank crew. <clears throat> Excuse me. The wife the wife picked up the Panzer. To me, is Panzer two. I always looked around for this kit. Um, I saw when um, I think um, when I, uh, ICM did the uh, Holy Toledo of Panzer II. I think like half or more of all the contestants had this exact kit um, for the price. Although for being 1971, the tank itself I hear is great. The figures are a bit outdated, but just knowing what it comes with for the price for the tank and the figures, it's really really nice. Definitely one of the best deals out there you can get for a decent starter kit, especially. Excellent, excellent kit. This here, um, actually, yeah, let's move these out of the way. Let's get my dead guys out of here. Got my airfix club thing, whatever the hell that is. Okay. We now have Tamiya's Russian T-62A. Um, I don't know why, honestly. I just wanted a nice Cold War tank. I love the whole T-55, 62, 72, the rounded turrets. Early era into the Cold War. This one looks like a lot of fun to go and put together. And we have the M1 US M113 ACAV. I believe there's a. I'll try to find a picture of it. If I can, I'll put it in um, at the end of this video. But I don't. I don't think it's here. It's probably lost in translation. But um, my uncle Joe, when he was in Vietnam in 1969, he was head of. Um, he was in the third. 3rd Marine Division of an Armored Column, or some special something out in Vietnam. And they had a whole convoy of M113s, there's a picture of them standing on it. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and just throw it in there. Or right after I show this kit. But if not, don't worry about it, I'll try to make one day where it's a family history of a family's military history, and I'll go and put pictures in there at that. We'll get this guy here. And from a buddy of mine that just came back, uh, came down for college, over Christmas break, and he wanted to go ahead and pick me up uh, some kits. And I'll have Cevesda's, I don't know if it's, I don't believe it's new tool, I think it's just up, updated box, updated um, a few things, but uh, Cevesda's BT-7, I built their BT-5 ages ago, um, and just seeing this kit, I really wanted to pick it up and redo it again, For I, the BT-5 that I built was one of the first kits that I ever put together, so it's it's just really just a test subject, um, but now, now after learning all the different techniques that I can go ahead and put onto it, I'd like to go ahead and build it again. So I picked that up. And for this next kit, before you all say anything, I'm not even going to say anything actually, because you should just figure it by this point. 
another T34! My god, what else was I going to pull out? But there's uh, Cyber Hobbies, uh, German Capture T34 Mod 1942, cast turret. Um, it only comes with one, just one markings. I opened it up to see if there's any quick little special. Um, this kit was was priced at an arm and a leg, but since it since the shop got it before 2012, I picked this up for just about $25. And I do know, um, especially if it's not a orange super value series from Cyber Hobbies, it's usually expensive as hell. Um, but I got a really good deal on this for being half off in the shop. So now there is, I think there's only one or two T34, no, one T34 that's there that I don't have. And that is the weird little curved turret word that starts with an F that I can't think of that I built the 70 second scale version of. That's the last one that's there. And I believe that's one of the last T34s I don't have. Let's get this one here. And as in terms of literature at work, we had a Secret Santa, and my friend Kimmy, and the, uh, she bought me a, this book that I had my eye on for a while, Sniper on the Eastern Front. Um, just reading uh, just some parts of it now, it is an extremely graphic, graphic novel. Uh, there are some pictures in it, pictures of the author. There he is there. So if you want, if you like really nice memoirs, first-hand accounts of the Second World War, really, if, or you're just a fan of those type of series of books, highly recommend this. Um, it's a, I mean, it is just a gut-wrenching tale of mountain troops, mountain mountain troop snipers. This one here. The wife also picked this up. If the Allies had fallen, sixty scenario, sixty alternate alternate scenarios of World War Two. This is a real interesting, scary little book about just. I mean, I think they showed different ways of D-Day failing. Yeah, what if the Allies had been defeated on D-Day? What if Stalin had signed with the West in 1939? And what if Hitler had won the war? So it was real interesting little scary little topics and different scenarios about how Germany could have won the war. From all the way from just from the very beginning with total annihilation from of, of just Europe and all the way till the end where just in the last couple of days of the war, different ways how Germany could have fooled the Allies and ended up counterattacking and winning somehow and just pulled it out of their ass right at the end of the war. So a really neat book here. And lastly on the literature scale, we have the illustrated history of World War One, courtesy of the wife as well. It's a really, really excellent book. It's highly detailed. Um, really uh, tons of, there's so many different types of books. Um, like so. I don't have one quite like this though, which is why I like it so much. Looks a really, really nice book. A little detail, full color photos. Color photos, illustrations, rare pictures. I don't think I've ever seen this before. What is this? Hello, German, mach German machine gunners break down their weapons to make a hurried retreat in the French artillery shells. Ah, as French artillery shells explode nearby. Huh. The lights just to run away. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever seen this picture before. <laughs> Tons of interesting photos. Alright, and that's all we are for the literature. And lastly... How did I get this just a couple of things to show. I now have an iPad Mini. That This is going to be my model mecca. All of our my modeling, all YouTubing, everybody, all of you are now all congregated in one area. And there are some things that I don't have, with me at least, that I'll go ahead and show. Um, I also got uh, $50 worth of Scale Hobbyist gift cards. So I picked up this pack of figures that's on the way here. Another Concord publishing book as well, September Storm, about the German invasion into Poland. And Masterbox Bailout Soviet tank Tankman in Kursk, 1943. And... Unfortunately, these are both at my father's house. So now um, we signed up for a CMP tactical shooting, so now I have a Glock 19 at the arsenal, and a 1941 Soviet SVT-40, all matching parts. I was really, really excited to see this. I nearly cried and broke down when I found out that this was under the tree. I couldn't hold myself together. I think I screamed. I was... You could probably mistake me for a girl at the time when this was put out. An absolute beautiful shape. If there's any um, a time where it's over here or if I'm over at uh, my father's house, I'll go definitely go ahead and see if I can make a quick video 
on this weapon like I did with the Mosin Nagant. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that. But one thing I just want to go ahead and show, AK Interactive, if anybody um, is aware or unaware, AK Interactive now has an app. If you have, um, I don't know if they have it on Android devices, but I do know for Apple devices to do. And I have an app, and I utilize it to its extent. It's very new. Um, not a lot of their things are on it yet, but they are having tutorials. Um, they have um, parts of their video tutorials on YouTube that are in here. But I did buy some of their books. Um, I bought uh, Soviet War Colors, 1936-45, to and 1945 German Colors. And just go ahead and give you a little taste about how it is. Oh, whoops, let's go ahead and open it. So you have the book. You can turn sideways or wherever you'd like. <clears throat> These are absolutely just beautiful books. Um, first chapter being light AFEs, so early war, light armored fighting vehicles. Go right through here. Then there's medium AFEs. And then it goes into the heavies, the T-28s, KV-1s, KV-2s, IS-1s, IS-2s, all different self-propelled guns. Even uh, captured vehicles, like you've seen here, the captured uh, in SG-122 on the captured Panzer III chassis. One of 30 S SG-122s with a 122mm M30 howitzer mounted on a captured Stug III chassis. So they have all tons of little interesting tidbits. Um, going through here, and it shows other areas. And then it also has Lend-Lease vehicles, like Studebaker trucks, Universal Carriers, Churchills, Lees. Grants, half tracks, motorcycles, everything, and then also real photos and locations where these are post, um, where they're at in museums. And I believe I might actually pick this up and go and use this book as a reference. But that's just one of the novels, one of their uh, AK's books that are absolutely. I mean, these are perfect for if you need any ideas. And I'd like to go ahead and show the German one. This is really interesting as well, showing all late war camouflages. Even some um, early war vehicles like this Panzer II that they used as an ammunition carriage at the end of the war. Still shows all the different um, color schemes and paint jobs. Of all sorts of different vehicles. Towards the end of the war. Goes through here. Oh, and they also have a What If Paper Panzers section. And this I found really great. Panzer Meister Evan, buddy, you'll like this a lot. Um, going through here. Different types of E50s, E E25s, E10s, E10, E25, E100s, E70s, E100, 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 E100s, E75s, E50s, Leopards, this was, what is this, some in insane massive artillery piece that the Germans were making. That is, I believe Trumpeter actually makes this kit. I believe I'm saying it right, the Lao, if I'm mistaking that, I probably am. I'm, I'm sorry, Homer, good. Michael, please, just bear with me. It's the Christmas season. I know it butchers you to hear the Americans speak your language, but <laughs> just let me slide. We have uh, Panther IIs, uh, VK-4502s. I'm not quite sure the designation for these vehicles. And there's also modeling ideas. Uh, these are pi um, actual pictures. It shows the reference photo and then the photo of the model that it's reflecting. I believe AK, um, they have a lot of uh, some of their videos and tutorials on different uh, filters and um, fading techniques that they use and modulations that they use on this vehicle. And advertisement for Panzer X, and voila! And that's all. And lastly, I know this video is just stretching out just a little bit. I did um, purchase one of their AK Learning um, booklets. I purchased the uh, Panzer, Panzer Crew uniforms. And yeah, these are great. They're all done on full color photographs, high detail photos on 135th scale Panzer Kurman, like so. Absolutely like stunning work um, that these guys do. Go through here. So it shows step by step different techniques. Um, leaving through, they all use AK colors, so if you just um, use their colors and use their techniques and the steps by step, um, you can probably pull out some really, really good looking figures out of this. Um, yeah, it shows completely all different areas of shading, filters and lighting techniques, different you know, making camouflage easier to make and well detailed. Absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. Really, really happy with the AK Interactive app. And it's like I said, it is brand new. There are a couple of things, um, very few things that they don't have available yet that are being made in the next update for it. But um, there are 
downloads, you can go through the company, go into the website, you can buy their weathering magazines, tutorials, I don't believe, yeah, their tutorial videos aren't up yet. They'll be there for media, you can go, you can purchase their DVDs, their DVD videos like airbrushing essentials, um, different weathering videos, uh, uh, technique, more technique videos, just some of the early ones, PDF tutorials. Some are, some are free, some are just a little, maybe, just, maybe like a dollar or two, I don't know how much exactly. These are all free. These are all free to start. But just real nice little PDFs. Let's see what exactly is the tech sheet. I don't know if this is up yet. Oh, here we go. And, and, all, and they have information on all of AK Interactive's products, what they do, how they can be used, what they used for, um, different ways of using them. And pretty much just the catalog of all AK Interactive products, all their washes, um, photo wedge burnishing, uh, burnishing fluids, black black camouflage. Never even heard of that. White winter camouflage. So and it's constantly updated with new new and improved AK devices. Well, alright guys, um, sorry for the length of the video, but I just wanted to go ahead and squeeze in all the Christmas goodies. I hope you all had a great Christmas. And I hope you all enjoyed. Um, again, if you see any, if you want to take a look at any of the kits that I have that I showed tonight, please let me know. I'd be happy to go and make a video. Until then, again, hope you all had a great holiday season, and I'll see you around, guys.